Alrighty. I'm going to try and do a talk through of how I play St. Andrews. Um, since the, the updates yesterday, I have been battling a little bit with my meter. Um, I think I've managed to find a, a browser with a fairly decent, fairly decent meter, so uh, I thought I'd do a talk through. <coughs> Um, how I play wind and various bits and bobs like that. Um, let's see how we get on. I've had a shocking few rounds earlier this morning. Um, so we're pretty much expecting anything to happen here. Yeah. Um, so we got about seven five seven six. And then it's about so one two square. Yeah. It's about seven or six yards. So should be around that. Yeah, way wide. No, it's just nice. Needed to get the crush the thing there. <clears throat> um, I'm going to have a quick look just what my meter is like on this part. In, in you know, I think I might have to. I think I might have to go to full screen. See if it's any better now when I pick the part. And it's not. It's not a difficult part as it is. So. So I'll, I'll basically uh, mix and match between um, the screen and normal window, um, depending. I think for the putts I'll definitely go to full screen. Um, possibly the iron shots, the drives I'm not too worried about, um, unless, it's a, unless it's a tricky one where I need to get uh, absolutely in the middle of the fairway, like this second hole here, if I've got any sort of side winds. Um, very, very slow today as well. I, I don't know what they've done with, this, with yesterday's uh, update maintenance thing, but uh, in my opinion, they've, they've gone a step backwards, unfortunately. All right, yeah, so this is not too critical for, uh, for a thing, so... Oh, God. It's, didn't want to miss it that, mate. It should, should, should still be just okay. Um, since they changed this, I get this sort of weird pause in the meter and then it flies. Um, you know, it, when I had a choppy meter before, it would sort of just be choppy all the way through, so I could kind of gauge where I wanted to get to, but uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is, this is, has some strange, strange behaviors. Right, typically my pitching wedge land one 116 yards. Um, I've got a bit of a helping wind. But I want to land left. So firstly, that's, that would be about where I put the aimer if I was attacking the pin and it was a flat green. Um, so I'll probably leave the aimer where it is and just try and click early. Um, no, let me rather not do that. I just take it out a little bit more. Oh. Mm. Just Sometimes worth leaving the pin in. Um, roll down. Beautiful. Roll down, and uh, it can uh, it can sometimes help. I've made that point up left. Okay. If I'd have landed that left where I wanted to, I just checked and could have possibly hit the pin. Never mind. A lot more. Uh, a little more side wind effect there than I expected. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just yeah I'll just pause it between shots. Um, I'll just pause it between shots so that you don't have to see my loading and also between between changing views. I 
I'm going to have to do that one. Right? Uh, 13.7 or 12.7 percent. So I'm going to hit the set 13 just in case. Oh, I'm not late. Uh, so I'm to hit those a little bit harder just in case there's that extra inch up behind the hole that you're never sure about. But uh, for what's supposed to be one of the more forgiving putters, um, yeah, I don't know. To me, it seems if you miss with the break, um, I might as well be using uh, the starter button, to be honest. Um, ridiculous how slow everything is to load. So I expect this my meter will be hopping and dropping all over the place here. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Between shots, worked up my uh, worked up the wind effect there, or the head wind effect portion of that anyway, and then now it's just a matter of uh, it's a matter of getting it out where I want it. Uh, I'm going to go to full screen for this because I don't want to pick this late. It's fine. Three yards long. <coughs> it's strange because it seems like um, it seems like the first time <coughs> that I go to reverse it takes forever. But if I top and change between them, then it's fine. So it's quite a strange, uh, quite a strange thing. Should still be okay, but only because I hit that dead weight. I should have gone to full screen as well uh, for the putt, but uh, shouldn't have been eight feet long just to start with. My approach there. Oh, we've got a full screen for this because this is fairly crucial that I don't, uh, don't mess this up. Should be quite nice. But so far, I'm only getting these sort of piddly in between uh, wins, so I'm not sure. I have that's the reason why I'm not showing you how I calculate them. Because um, I typically just add three, three or four yards, depending, uh, depending on what club I'm using. So um, I will use a calculator once I get a, something direct um, or, or a tailwind. Um, I'll probably get a massive tailwind on the next hole. Hmm. This front front pen can oh, and then left if I ding it, so this right club typically lands about one sixty one. So just but it is gonna roll as well and I don't want it to roll too much. Uh, well let's see how we get on. Not late. Just end up right about here. Yeah. Need to need to land a little bit further left there, and it would have just rolled down a little bit. So not not too far away. Um, I'll just pause this while it takes its time. Okay, that's first of all. First spots don't seem to mean too much, and then the last six feet, last six feet's been in. Oops. 
Thinking back to that part there, was, despite the fact that I that I, I tricked a little bit later, if I think if I'd have, if I'd given it a foot, two foot more power or a foot more power, um, what would have gone? It's unfortunate. It wasn't a difficult part. Yeah, let's pause this while we wait. Finally. Any time today. Um. Well, this is this can be a tricky pen. Well, it is a tricky pen to get close to. Um, but typically, how I play it, because um, I don't even think the level ninety Nike uh, you could attack this and stop it dead so well I know you can't I'm pretty so uh, what I want to try and do if I can is I want to land I want to put a bit of backspin on it and land short of the hump on the left and let it just sort of roll on on over it's got risks because sometimes you you, you fall up short and you don't quite get over uh, and sometimes you can end up going 30-40 uh, feet long so oh, come on That's a definite risk of world shot, but uh, if you can end up with a 10 or 12 foot eagle putt. Uh, so well, typically what I do is I'll go and have a look where the hump starts. It's at 220, so my three arm full backspin lands 224. So that's not going to work with the slight toe one. So I'm going to be looking at the four iron. Uh, full backspin lands 208, over there. Uh, and obviously it's going to check up quite quick, so that's not going to help me. So I need to go probably... Let's put the aim on the pin for now. Um, and it's probably got four iron. Mm, probably somewhere around like there, I think. Um, typically how I aim for sidewinds is I just go uh, whatever the wind is, uh, 14 to 16. So I'll just take the middle number 15 and then I'll just I'll just go 15 millimeters with uh, my handheld ruler that you can't see. But I would if it was a typical absolute cross sidewind at 3 o'clock here, but I'll just take off, take off a bit. I'll make it. I do want to land. I want to try and land left as, as well if I can. So I want to click early, just a little bit. If I can. <laughs> I can't. I didn't want to click late. But uh, anyway, if I get the right, if I get the right bounce and I put the right spin on this, it's going to end up quite nice. I just want it to get over. Show us the other view. So it's gotten over. Too. It's actually worked out pen high. So I did wish it would have showed us the other view, but uh, if we'd have a look where it landed, um, I'm not going to bother with showing replays and bits and pieces like that. Um, and we, this has actually worked out beautifully. Um, let's look. Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's far out. <coughs> Just about speed. Typically, you should just birdie this hole, so it's nice to make up for the uh, the par on on two now. That. Um, let's see on the next tee. All right, he's got some possibilities. So if I hit the right bump, uh, I'm getting, I don't think I'll get to the green actually now that I look at it. No, I'm in the fairway. Um, 
hope about it. Uh, ding there could have turned out very interesting. Uh, but yeah, there is a slope just in front, so I probably would have uh, probably would have stopped short of the green. But uh, I mean, if you get nice strong tailwinds like that <clears throat> on a hole like this, is uh, you know if I could have just rolled down into this little gully, I could have possibly uh, gone up the other side. Um, that's basically a straight wind. Uh, for for um, the punches, I don't use anywhere near the same wind effect. So typically, I would use uh, 20, 7 yards. I'd deduct off this at full power anyway, uh, if I was hitting. But uh, it was 75 percent, 5 yards. So I think it's probably just around about 40 yards, uh, which is that. Think of it late, and that could get all over it. Oh. Well, I saw it flash to north there. I thought I might have been, uh, might have been in with another eagle. But, uh, yes, yeah, nice, nice close part, which is the only thing that really matters. Just pause it quickly while we wait. Perfect. I don't often use the 10 scale. Um, for the longest time that I started using this putter, I was, um, because I'm so used, so used to the 20 scale on the Manta putter, um, I was leaving everything short, assuming that I had the 20 scale and it was driving me absolutely nuts. I wanted to throw this thing away. But um, I've gotten a bit more used to the 10 scale now, and I don't use it very often, but I at least know it's there. And uh, make sure to make sure I'm on the right scale, if possible. And I'll pause this while we wait. Hmm. Interesting. If this was 19 to 21, I'd go over here, and I'd, I'd, I'd have a go for it. Um, I'm at the stage now with the game where I don't, I don't typically play safe. Um, I don't really care. Now, I might get lucky there and still get onto the green, but I'll leave myself a hell of a monster putt um, if I do get the right. Otherwise, I'll have an easy wedge, but um, so that's another shot. Oh, it's going to go to the bunker, is it? No. Yes, it has to. Wow. It's going to be 11, is it? Oh. Odd. But never mind, don't really, don't really worry about bunkers, uh, especially... I'd worry a bit more if it was to the left one that's got a big downslope. Uh, just in front of the uh, just in front of things, so it's a bit of a difficult one to land short. But this is uh, now where I said I use a millimeter per mile an hour. I don't do that um, from from sand and, and from rough. Right now, this lands at 64 yards. Full backspin from 30 40. 64 yards. I think it's just 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 going to get me on the green. No, it's not 64. All right, so I can, I can afford to play this. Uh, let's play this a bit under power, and then let the typical rollout just do its uh, do its work. I just want to get. Oh no! I just want to get onto the green. I'm just just on the front fringe. Um, I didn't want to miss it that late, and then let it roll. You know, I've taken lost all the power there. Uh, I'm making a mess of this now, but that's because I got cocky. I wanted to go for it, so uh, uh, I don't know why you have to change the chip mode to try and get a, a view of what the dots are doing. Uh, it's insane. Right, and I've got the wind coming that way, so uh, typically. Then typically, basically, stops dead at 17 yards. I've got a bit of an open wind, I'm going up slightly, so I might have to just go a tiny tick above the back spin. Hopefully, can recover with a birdie. Oh, get in! Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's a nice, that's a nice birdie. That basically gives me a nice warm fuzzy feeling on this side. Um, Ah, uh, that's five iron full backspin. 
missed this hole a few times where I tend to land about two yards short and then it hops straight in on the bounce. Mm. <laughs> I've come close a few times where it's hopped over. Another thing that the game that they've changed in this this latest update, I've, I've um, made, made an ace on the solo uh, quite a few times, and it's usually 1,100 odd credits. They've cut it in half, and I noticed on uh, the eighth the Kiara that I've aced a few times, that's also been cut. So it looks like um, holes that you you've aced before, and or won the challenge on, you don't get the same reward anymore. That might actually be okay. Wow, I've only just missed that, man. By a pixel. The wind's going the other way, isn't it? Oh, it's gone too long anyway. Wow. Well, that's a surprising shot for the five <laughs> Very surprising. Right. Uh, it's a tricky, tricky fight there. It seems like my meters, uh, my. Uh, Connection thing has changed as well. It's a lot quicker now, so it's a little bit longer. Well we double breaker. Um, it seems to, to seems to stop breaking about there, about there where I've got the aim at, and then it starts going the other way. So I wouldn't be surprised. If this is. This is very, very straight. Mm. So, you know, if I look at this, uh, the, this initial break is only really, what, one, two, three grids. Straight upwards, and then this part is one, two, three, four, five. So I've got a feeling this, this lot here might actually uh, have more impact on the putt than this, this initial part, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the aimer over there, I think. Mm. Oh. Try it basically. No, just to get the power right. Get the power right, I think. It's going to be very close even if it's fine. Oh, for pizza, sake, yeah. man. Wow, I clicked that way late and it's on the complete other side of the hole. Well, just as I was thinking that I had my meter sorted out. Ah, oh, then no, that's such a soft... No, that wasn't an easy part, but... No, man, it's just... Okay, this, uh, this is uh, on the green stuff. Sure. I get this. My meter is starting to hop and dive here now. And uh, I might even end up in the fescue there. Kick right. Kick right. I only had a bit of... Got the ding there. All right, we're putting for eagle. That's the main thing that matters. We're not lucky not landing in all the fescue and bits and pieces there, so, uh, so we've got another double breaker. Oh, it's back to its... To its no, but definitely the last part of this is, is has more impact. So, Start to guess on the way over there. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm happy there. Didn't just get the power right. Same way that was meant to. Oh man, I just if I, I just didn't want to click that late, but I I don't. It's hard for me to tell what a, what effect that late little misting had there. I know what it, with the mantra I would have expected that, um, unless I didn't have the line wrong. 
basically from what that looks like, it was sort of basically a straight putt. So, yeah, 28, I would say, unfortunate. I missed the ding there by, by a bloody mile. I don't think I had the aim in the right place either, judging from what, what happened. Uh, just didn't hit that. Just didn't hit that one. Another tailwind. I can't hear the thing here. Yes. This is all about the bounce. Right bounce, wrong bounce. Oh, we're going left as well. Come on, get onto the green. Keep going. Well, that might roll back off. The fringe, well, that's okay. Definitely won't be putting it. So, a chip or a pitch. Um, huh, I'm saying that. I hold this, I hold this putt for Eagle in practice round the other day. I expect there's no chance of me doing it again. How's it going that way? And I've got a bit of wind doing the same thing, but I'm going to land over there. That's right. Let's see. Get in. I just didn't allow for uh, the landing spot. I didn't allow enough. These dots were moving that way. And I've got the wind going that way, so I need to probably just move that. Where, the, where I originally had the aim, but just outside the right edge was probably spot on there. Um, that would have been a nice eagle. Oh, it's slowing up again. I'll pause it. Okay. So I'll pause between shots just so that... Uh, you guys don't have to watch me trying to connect to the next goal. You can actually see golf. What a book to go on. This is a tough one to stop. Um, I mean, if I hit a six iron full backspin, I've got to hit it at like probably about 96, 95%. Um, whereas I've got a better chance of checking it with a seven iron. Um, it might go long anyway, but I've got a better chance with, with, with the 7 iron than uh, 50%. Wow, that's going so far right. It should just trickle on up. Oh, the artichokes jokes wouldn't too bad. Uh, I don't think it would go long, but um, I'm amazed how far right that's, that's ended up. Um, I definitely didn't hit the, 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 the down slope over there on the left. Oh. Which then I would expect it to roll. I would expect it to roll down there. That should be fine. Could be too much. Could be too much. So I'll just bring it in a little bit and just, just give it a bit more power. are basically a bit of a catch to The pin was in the bottom uh, bottom half here. I played this full topspin and, and pretty much definitely re reached the green with that. Um, so the question I'll ask myself is do I want to putt from, from the front up, up over the ridge or do I want to be short um, and have a, have a little punch or something which is probably going to be a lot easier. Um, so I think I think I think I'm going to just play this those under power. I'll keep it in the fairway. 
Well, I can't. I can't with this one reach the uh, the top level here. Definitely not. Um, stop now, right? I really don't want to get onto the green here. I've specifically played it under power. Perfect. Well, I'll be punching full backspin again, and now basically when you're punching down at this uh, at 36 yards here, I mean I might just hit this at 35 because that although it's 17 miles an hour. It's going to have such small effect on on this um, because I'm punching so so down on power um, that I really wouldn't expect too much. So I'm going to hit this at it uh, takes a small side when I hit this at 35, which uh, be around about there. Not late. If anything I wanted to try and be early there, I uh, might get lucky. Oh, that's gone long. Wow. That's right, that at 35. Typically, typically, um, just hops and stops. So, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, maybe my pixel is not quite aligned. I'll check now when I have the putt. Um, well, maybe a tick hard, but it might. Uh, an easy birdie putt's the main thing that matters. Um, an easier birdie putt than I would have had, I expect, if I had got lost the green down here somewhere and had this strange odd breaker. Um, I don't actually need this to move down or I just use that when I'm playing in normal screen mode. Um, it seems like that's a thing of the past now with this new uh, Flash 14 situation. But if I play normal window now, my meter is just an absolute mess. An absolute mess. So, uh, right, now this is pretty key. Pretty key to try to get it right. Perfect. Should get right into that little gully now. And uh, this is an easy pin. Much prefer this pin to the uh, to the one in the in the gully on the right hand side there. Slow down. I want to hit this from up. Definitely not hitting this full power. So I'm just uh, you can't see I'm just holding up my ruler here just to get the uh anywhere I want it. Let's get this about there. Spot on. Land a yard right of the pin, and then and show us the view. Then why is it doing that? I landed a yard right of the pin. <laughs> I guess because the full backspin with the pitch and wedge um, typically hops back a yard. It didn't get the chance to roll that bit to the left um, that it, that it usually would. By the looks of it here, I've, I've landed pin I right. Yeah, that's a nice easy putt. See the 10 scale, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Gets me nervous. I think really that just the, that, that, that little pitch could have gone in, but um, that should have, I should have held that. And that was a tricky one, so uh, I think I did a, a complete misread over there. Um, well, no, it's, what are we, 12 under, 12 under with 5 to play. Um, it's the left hand pin which is evil possibilities. It would have hurt if I had a tailwind anyway. But maybe if I can get this far enough up I can hit the 3 with the full top and... Nah, that doesn't go anywhere, it's got nowhere. Don't even know if I can clear the... Uh, yeah, I should be able to actually. I should be able to just go onto the fairway here. It's not a bad shot to play uh, to this to the stuff on the on the left here because I would have a direct headwind, um, and uh, I quite prefer a direct headwind to, to these little offset winds. But I'm going for the, uh, the easier option. Let's call it. I should clear the I should clear this uh, this wind, and. Uh, 
Yeah, pretty easy. Uh, now, it's just a matter of... one yards. Right, so that's typically what I would do um, uh, for my for my 105 yard ping is on 14. Let's see, might go times 0.5 here for this. Seven yards, so it's 92 yards. 92 yards that I want to hit this. So pull back spin. Um, and then for wind aim, Say 91 yards, 92 yards, 92 yards. Mm -hmm. We'll come back a yard, so okay. Oh, right, not early, not early, not early, not early. Put the pin in so I can see how it's traveling. Well, this actually might work out nice. Oh, well, that's worked out very nice. So I got the yards right, and then the, the, the bounce back uh, got me there, but that uh, obviously, that obviously aimed too far right. Um, by not far, but uh, makes me nervous. It's rather hit this five feet, click it early. Not that early, but yeah. Now, apart from 17, these, this last stretch, um, pretty much easy birdie holes. So uh, I would expect to birdie three of these and end up with 56. Don't forget no bogeys. Uh, that's why I leave that. Leave that in where it is. No. Obviously, in my, the majority of you know this. Just when when possible, don't click with the wind. Um, I, yeah, I've gotten lucky there. But now, with this, I can show you. Um, show you. Uh, looking, that's definitely going to be. Five iron, might even be a four iron. Eight times, oops, that's right, we cross eleven. Uh, one eighty four plus, or four is one twelve, is one ninety six. Okay, one ninety six. So typically this will land one ninety one. So I'll be five yards short. So I'll, get, I'll put it up to the tip of the V. Which gains me two yards over my full my, my normal one ninety one, so that's one ninety three. It's also going to minimise a yard or two of the wind effect. So I should be landing two yards short and then and then rolling that last little tiny bit. Uh, if I put the window right here, mm, looks about right. Should be all over it, all over it. Just, just where I've got the window right. It's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, land two yards short and stop dead. <laughs> uh, it's gone a little bit right as well, by the way. Didn't expect it to stop dead because there's a downslope in front of the uh, about four yards, three, four yards in front of the pin there. Um, but I expect I need it to be a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I need to land a little bit further left. Never mind. Quite happy with that as a start point. Might be a little bit too much. It might not. Looks like it's a little bit too much from there. This, this specific dot here, this one. Well, this is going to, this is all about speed. Uh, 8.5, 1.1, 7.7. Um, yeah, uh, I've naturally gone to clicking that a little bit late in case I had allowed too much. Yeah. I had a feeling I'd, I'd, a feeling I'd just allowed a little bit too much there. That one dot was putting me off. Um, 
And when you get situations like that, then you can err on the side of a late click or an early click if you're just not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I was quite interested that I expected the, uh, the five iron to land two, two, two yards short. Um, I didn't expect it to stop staying dead though. Um, but again, I, that's an advert for the Call this Callaway ball. People are all raving about how the Nike stop. Because I didn't hit that with full backspin. I hit it with 75% backspin, maybe. Um, and it still stops down dead. So, yeah, so we're looking at 58 so far. If I can birdie the last three, 55, it's going to be a very, very good chance of winning this. So, uh, need. I mean, 56 has won it for me before, um, but typically, you know, if I get 55, somebody will pop in there with a 53 or a 54 to spoil the party. Um, and then I can only just look back at the, at the putt on two, uh, not not really so much the putt on, 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 on the part three, eight. The putt on two, um, line nine. This lands at 134 yards of full backspin. I have got some... Some head there, some headwind. Um, so I'll send this out to 18. And just pop this up for full backspin. That should be within six feet. It should be a fairly easy. Not when I've, oh, I've missed the. I've missed. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, the yardage is absolutely spot on, but look how far right that's gone. Wow. That is something. Just shows you click a tiny little bit with the wind and you are knackered. <laughs> Never mind, let's have a look what we got. According to that, no, I'm, I'm happy with where I had it. I think. I'm happy with where I had it. I might just come in a little bit, I think, just in case these last dots are uh, I'm taking it the other way. Those last spots didn't actually do anything else, so it seems to hit that way hard. I brought the aimer in there a little bit, and I should have left it where it was. I should have left it where it was. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to mess this up. Oh, wow. Well, I'm still quite amazed. I have 18 millimeters left, and that ended up 23 feet right, can I? Crazy. Perfect yard, is it? Crazy. Crazy, crazy result. Oh, that's bug. That's now. Yeah, that's bugging me. I should never have been that far away. Uh, okay, cool. We got the right, the, the good pin. Um, but I'm even more pissed off about that putt or the approach. Cause this is this is a fairly easy birdie. Most of the time. God, let's see if I can get to the fed, eh? Okay. Uh, typically, I play this hole depending on what the club is um, with a tailwind to land about five yards short, short right, and just let it uh, just let it trickle around. Uh, I've got a feeling this is only a six iron, uh, so I may be slightly more attacking because it's going to stop. It's going to stop better. Uh, I'll take this out to you. Take this out to you. Fifteen millimeters. And now it's just a decision of it, it lands land 175, 176. No wind. 
six yards short and we should roll right on up to it. And again the yard is almost absolutely spot on. Now this easy with this easy being the easier pin whoever else is playing this radio is also probably gonna birdie this. So uh, really ruining that miss on the last hole and uh, on, on the yeah on the sixteen. Um, and that's just that's just an easy easy part so I'm not gonna bother uh, I'll just miss this light, hit it at seven feet. What a pity. What a pity. Could have been uh, 54. Let's just hope I don't miss this. Uh, you know, one, two. Nearly pitched that in. Uh, it's only sitting on, sorry, sitting on 49 at the moment. 50. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, hmm. But two choices on this hole. You can either you can either bounce it off the bump on the right hand side, or you can bounce it off the bump on the left. Because I've got the left pin, I'm going to probably err right here because of the wind. And I just want to bounce in the right spot, and this could get me up onto the green eagle putt. So all well, depends where it bounces here. Because it could catapult it up. Oh no, it hasn't. Son of a bitch. Never mind. A 30 eagle punch anyway. So I've managed to hold out a few times, so if I hold one out here now, I'll be ecstatic. 17 under. Again, uh, I'm, I'm basically going to... Um, it's 34, probably going up 4 feet, uh, so call it 35, so... I might take off two yards for that. Oh, okay, we're going up three feet. So I'm going to hit this at 30. Fine, I'm going to hit this at 32, I think. Even though I aim already is and just click this light. Uh, that, get in the hole. Come on, get in here. Oh, no, I didn't hit it. <laughs> Uh, I didn't need it. I just needed to hit that a pixel or two harder. So I had 16, 16 under. And 56. 56 with some really, really easy, um, well I said really easy, the, the putt on two is definitely, uh, should have been in. Um, but yeah, you guys can, uh, mm, that's how I play St. Andrews anyway. Well, let's see what the stats all look like. Well, it's one of those what could have been, isn't it, really? Uh, 6.1. Yeah, that's no, I know, this is quite a good round overall, so I'm quite happy with that. And that might, might, well, it'll be top five for sure, it might give me the win. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll do a few more tour shoes uh, on some other courses. Ciao, bye-bye.